Welcome back to the Kenyon Along channel. And today we got some real heat because we're talking about the fashion from McDonald's in the 80s. That's right. Back when Ronald McDonald was out here flipping burgers and Grimace was more than a shake, he was out here trying to get this fashion game up, man. We got some real fire here. And also, guess what? We got some what were they thinking? So, Stick and stay to the end because, of course, you already know the best content is at the end and the best fashion is at the end. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into this right now. Um, McDonald's came with the freaking varsity jackets, Letterman jackets, I should say here. I mean, what is HU? What is it, Hamburger University? It ain't the real HU. It ain't Howard. It ain't Howard. It ain't Hampton. Which, which, which HU is this, McDonald's? Like McDonald's is that trying to be an HBCU? I'm not mad at it. Okay, the M, the M jacket I, I i don't know i don't know if that was just for women or not but i think i'm rocking i mean it looks <laughs> in certain areas they're going to ask you like oh what school you went to hamburger university i went to i graduated hamburger university <laughs> you know what i mean like with the hu i i feel a certain kind of way a lot of y'all may not know about hbcus you know you may not know about hampton you may not know about howard so maybe i wouldn't wear this in dmv area okay i just wouldn't now that m jacket I don't know, man, with that hood, with that hood, I, I just ain't feeling it. I just, I'm not feeling it. $89. You can't even, them jackets like $325 now. $400 for a Letterman jacket like that. $89? Come on, fam. Come on. Um, I ain't feeling that, bro. Let's, uh, I, I think you could have did more. I don't know. You could have given A, B, U. I wish there was a B in the H, U. I just wish. Uh, I don't know what color that is because this is from the 80s. It looks purple. If it was purple and brown, maybe. I don't know. It looks purple. Y'all tell me. If it's black and brown, that's even worse. Well, let's talk about his mustache, though. Can we just talk about that 80s mustache you got going on right there? The 80s mustache is crazy. Let me bring it down for you. That 80s mustache right there. Like, I'm just, I don't know, fam. I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's, I mean, that was the style back then, bro. That was the style. Uh, they, And you know what? Please specify size. You got to specify the size. But the 80s mustache, you know, it is on point. He looking like Tom Selleck's son at this mug. All right. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? She got the bleach blonde hair. You already know this is the 80s. So this ain't this ain't what they got going on. But they got more fire, y'all. You just you just stick and stay. Y'all got they got more fire. Let's get into some hats. You know, I'm not even going to the other stuff yet. Let's let's get into some hats, fam. All right. Let's get into some hats. This, what the hell is this? McDonald's, what were you thinking? Like, let me know about this hamburger hat here. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking here. I, I have no clue. Like, you just want to, who wants to walk around in, in the 80s? Who wants to walk around in the streets with a hamburger on their head? <laughs> you know what I mean? With a Big Mac. There's a Big Mac, right? With a Big Mac on their head. Uh, I, I just, I can't do it, man. Like, if it's not Halloween, I'm not doing it. At damn show, I ain't doing that on Halloween. Now, look, we all loved the Big Mac back then in the 80s. We definitely did. You still love the Big Mac now, I guess. You don't really see commercials for it. But back in the 80s, they had commercials for the Big Mac. Hey, can you believe that? Like, can you believe they had commercials for the Big Mac? I'm not about to show one. But they had commercials for the Big Mac. So, you know, maybe they just thought like, okay, somebody loved the Big Mac so much. Let's put it on their head. Put a Big Mac. Look at cheese is coming out. I don't think that's it, fam. Like, I, I think uh, they could have did something else. I don't know. Maybe you could have had, like, the hamburger in the front. You know what I mean? Just, like, a, a, a Big Mac in the front. Y'all let me know what you think, but I think it's a Big Mac in the front. Uh, but they got another fire hat, though. We're going to get to that fire. Did you just stick and stay. We're going to get to the fire. Trust and believe. There is fire in this McDonald's lineup. And let's, we still on the hats there. Look at it. Bam. Boy. Boy, who you boy who you playing with right now? Who you playing with? McDonald's. First of all, it looked like uh the Olympics. Looked like Greece on the front of it. Okay, look at the the leaves. Look, it looked like what do you call those? Olive branches? I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been out of school for a while. I right, this is fire. All right, McDonald's, the font's kind of crazy, but I'm still with it. You know, trucker hat style. I'm pretty sure it's a snapback. All right, snapback. But I'm rocking this today, boy. Boy, you better stop playing. You know what I mean? The gold leaves on that bill. 
man, let me tell you something. I got it over my eyes like, girl, what you want? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the park. I'm going to, to, to the Laker game in the McDonald's hat. You know, McDonald's, I like your boy. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Uh, that's just drippy right now. You know, some stuff don't stand the test of time. Like Goonies. This, is Goonies really, is it that good nowadays? Just watch it. Some movies y'all watch, you need to start watching movies from the 80s, from the 90s. Guess what? Movies from your childhood. You watch it today. I don't think it's standing up the test of time. I'm just saying. But this right here, McDonald's, if you're listening, look, McDonald's, y'all ain't brought back the Mighty Wings. Y'all ain't brought back the Big and Tasty. But let me tell you something right now, what you need to do. You need to go ahead and bring this hat back. Bring this hat back, McDonald. Moving on to that next heat. Now, every everything ain't a banger. You know what I mean? It's like YouTube. Everything ain't a banger. Let's go to this other hat. Bam! Woo! But it is, though. I got you. Mac, make it Mac tonight. Boy, I can't run the commercials. You already know how it is on YouTube. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me, man. Of course, watch the videos to the end because you're OG. Mac, make it Mac tonight. Back in the 80s mcdonald's campaign they came up with this commercial where it was this this uh and we did we talked about it in fast food trivia you haven't played fast food trivia you can play fast food trivia with me join the discord as well uh fast food trivia i played on tiktok we'll maybe try to bring it to youtube uh maybe this weekend we'll see um make it mac tonight they had a commercial for this singing moon that was playing the piano all right i don't know who is supposed to be I don't know. He's supposed to be Little Richard or Ray Ray Charles. I thought it was Ray Charles' voice. I don't know. I ain't gonna Google it. You just ask Chat GPT. It'll tell you. But they had this commercial. They ran a couple of commercials with this moon, and he was playing the piano. He said, "Make it a Mac tonight, Mac tonight." Right. So that's what that's about. It would. I don't want to say back in the '80s. I guess it went viral. <laughs> viral for the '80s, Mac tonight, but not. More viral than the Nord. Let's keep let's keep it let's keep it clear here. Nothing, no mascot for a fast food restaurant is ever more viral than the Nord. All right, the Nord had his own video game for Nintendo. All right, the Nord was the most viral mascot. But Mac tonight, they tossed him out there, man, and you know people start liking it. So I'm with this. I'm with this. I'm with the nostalgia. Y'all know, you know, we kind of hit the uh. You know, hit the shops up and, you know, try to get some, uh, you know, some nice vintage pieces. And I'm with that. You know what I mean? I'm with the Mac tonight. You know, you got a little McDonald's M. You got Mac right there. You ain't showing his whole body. Just showing it. Make it a Mac tonight. Mac tonight was cool, man. I just call him Mac tonight. I don't know if that was his name. I just, I think that's his name. Mac tonight. I don't know. But it, I feel like the commercial only came on at night. Y'all can fact check me on that. I don't know. You know what I mean? But I felt like it only came on at night while you watching uh, Family Matters. You know what I mean? You watching Family Matters. You watching TGI Friday, right? All right? You know, that that epic lineup, step by step. Okay? All right. Uh, Family Matters. Come on, man. All right? Uh, Dang. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my other show. But look, man, you already know. TGIF, the GOAT, ABC. Uh, I feel like that commercial came on. Make it a Mac tonight. So this hat. Fire, certified fire, fam. Uh, again, YouTube Mac tonight to watch that. And of course, hit that subscribe button. You can play fast food trivia because maybe this is a trivia question I will ask, which I have. I have asked this question. Moving on to the next piece of fire here. Let's get into some more clothes here. Uh, you know, we're going to, it's going to get increasingly better here, but it, you still got to get worse. Here. All right, let's, let's look at what's going on. First of all, they look like regular upstanding white men from the 80s first and foremost you know like they're on wall street but they like eating mcdonald's you know oh actually they got stock at mcdonald's right so i don't know about the cardigan the cardigan kind of hard i mean with the m to the right but i don't know it's it's giving a frat boy at a white university you know what i mean I, I just uh is giving Sigma new. I don't I, I can't really rock with the cardigan with the M on it. Maybe if it didn't have the M, maybe not. Now that sweater though, the sweater with the M's across, maybe I'm rocking that. Okay. Maybe I'm rocking that. It's uh it, you know, that's similar to like uh, you know, it's it's similar to like when we had iceberg. That's what I'm trying to think about. Iceberg. Similar to when you had iceberg, right? Everybody's rocking iceberg sweaters, and you know. 
again, kids, if you're watching this and you're young, some of you are 18 year old on this channel. Hey, if you're watching this, you're young, just you need to Google certain times in, in our fashion history. So if Iceberg, we had a bunch of uh, Looney Tune characters on there, but sometimes they had like basic sweaters like that, just like logo coming across. And that's going to be like four hundred dollars, you know, so all the drug dealers was buying Iceberg. So you just knew you had money. You buy an Iceberg, you know, shout out to Iceberg. I think you can find tons of them on eBay. But uh, some people still charging, you know, two hundred dollars for the sweater. So Iceberg sweaters. Uh, was definitely a classic. Um, you know, I mean, this is this sweater's like doing not too much, but doing so much. So, I mean, I, with the classic M, you know, uh, multiple times. I forget. What you, yeah, you know. Let me know if you're rocking it, man. Let me know if you're rocking it, man. Let me know you. Maybe you rocking the cardigan. Maybe you rocking the cardigan. I don't know. But the sweater, I can get away with. Uh, I think I can pull it off. I ain't wearing um them those uh dockers he got on clearly in the 80s. I ain't wearing them damn dockers. But uh, you know, we can freak it. We can we can we can freak it, you know, like we want to. Um, but let's we we since we talking about sweaters, let's get to some more sweaters here. All right, we we going we gonna heat it up. Let's talk about the grimace shake, okay? <laughs> before the grimace shake and TikTokers was spitting it out, before they were spitting it out just to go viral. Grimace was a character, man. Grimace was a character, man. I don't. I still don't know what Grimace is. Is it just a blob. I don't know. But Grimace was a character we loved. Uh, he was big and fat and purple before Barney. Before Barney, it was Grimace. I ain't mad at this, man. Now it's a white sweater, right? But it's got the big G on it. So you in a spot? You, you know, you somewhere? You had a high school basketball game, right? You. You 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 at a high school football game. You at a college football game. You college basketball game. You know, uh, you got they just see that big G. Now this is giving me iceberg, iceberg, right? This is giving me iceberg. Uh, you know, iceberg would do something like this for a sweater. I ain't mad at this. I'm I'm kind of mad at the white. I think it's too much going on though. I think I wish it was a different colorway because it's like you got white going on. You got what is that? gold you got green and you got purple i don't know how that colorway works i don't know but uh i just think uh i think yeah i just wish it wasn't white but would i rock it probably so probably so just i just hate that the gold i don't know it's a lot of colors going on a white sweater uh you know that's a that's a bold statement that's a bold statement but you know um, let's move on to another fire sweater. You know what I mean? Drop your comments below on this, man. This is probably live. I don't know. Uh, let's go on to the next here. This sweater right here, boy. You better stop playing with me. All right. Now you better stop playing with me. I ain't out here to play with you. That you think the hell I'm not. We talking about the hamburger. Now, you know, as you grow up in the hood or around the hood, you know who we liked in the 80s. We liked that hamburger. All right, that hamburger, you know why? Because he was down to steal hamburgers. McDonald's was so good, the hamburger was down to steal. Now, he's a white man, a white boy, but he was still down to steal them hamburgers. So we always liked that. We liked it because the hamburger was from the streets. All right, he's the, the BMF and McDonald's mascots. You know, he was the big meech of McDonald's mascots. He was the Tony Soprano. He was the Omar <laughs> of McDonald's mascot. Like you got Ronald being all nice and hugging kids and all that. Okay, handing out happy meals. Now you got Grimace doing whatever, being goofy and overweight. Right? That should have been a sign for us, America. Like Grimace was a sign. Uh I forgot who else. Wasn't it some kind of dinosaur or something else? But the hamburglar, the hamburglar was down to steal. And that's what we like. He was down for it. The hamburger was down to stale them hamburgers. He was still, he had a whole bag of hamburgers, like straight up. Like, you know, he ain't just stealing one or two. He had a bag of hamburgers. You feel me, fam? So uh, this sweater here is heat, heat right now. First of all, it ain't just all white. Okay, we got mostly black, all right? You got the white stripes on it. Now, look, clearly this is the 80s. This size is way too big for her ass. You know what I mean? Like, them arms is way too chunky. Like, come on, girl. Like, I don't know if that's the style of the sweater, but them arms is just way too big. I just don't, I don't know who did that. But look, 
I just need to hear that. You got the Hamburglar, right? I need to find this on eBay. Real talk, bro. Real talk. People used to dress up as the Hamburglar back in the day, too, uh, with the tie. You know, basically, he got a jail suit on. You really think about it. The Hamburglar got a jail suit on. He broke out of jail, all right? J- got a tie on so he don't think the cops could find out about him, all right? He's in incognito mode. You know, let me put a tie on so they don't know that I broke out of jail. And guess what? When he get out of jail, guess what he going to do? He going to get some more hamburgers. He going to steal some more hamburgers. The hamburger to get it out the mud. That's why we respect the hamburger. All right. <laughs> and like he got a mask on, too. Of course, you know, you can't have the cops. Look, man, the feds is watching. The feds will pick you up. This is why the hamburger got to be discreet. All right. Real G's moving silence like lasagna. Word to Lil Wayne. And of course, the hamburger, you know, I mean, with the shadow, bro, this is this is heat. This is heat right here. This is heat. The hamburger out here, the hamburger sweater, man, and he creeping too. Come on, fam. He got that creep going on. Meet me at the, boy. Come on. We got more heat, but don't know. We got more heat coming. That ain't that ain't even it, man. We got another sweater right now. We gonna end it off with the bang. The best sweater of them all from McDonald's 80s fashion lineup. Boy. If you don't stop playing with me, first and foremost, and I ain't, let me bring the hat down so y'all can, first and foremost right here, the hat is fire, all right, what you talking about, the hat is fire, this look like some McDonald's, ra- it's a McDonald's racing hat, let's just talk about that, McDonald's racing hat, all right, I think they had a car back in the day, I don't know if they still got one now, whatever car 94 was, McDonald's racing hat. Fire, right? Let's just start. Let's just start there. Plus, you got the '94 on the back, so it ain't just everything in the front. It's a party in the front, party in the back, fam. All right. Then, okay, this the hat alone is fire. Let's get to the sweater. The sweater right now, McDonald's Racing Team lapel pin. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And let's get to the boy. Look at the sweater. With the big letters that go all the way across the chest. Boy, are you playing with me? Are you McDonald's, Ronald, are you playing with me? Are you playing with me? This is fire right here, bro. I cop this is McDonald's racing sweatshirt, sweater. Got the big logo, McDonald's racing team. Man, bruh. If you looking for vintage, I ain't look, this ain't a this is a food related content channel you looking for vintage if i boy right here this should be worth 350 to 400 dollars right here this is heat heat this is hotter than a uh, big mac right on friday night like this is heat i don't even i don't even remember seeing this like i feel like you had to go to a race you gotta i got to go to damn nascar to go watch now we ain't never go in charlotte but this is heat right here. I don't care what y'all say in the comments. You let me know. But McDonald's had that heat back then. They had that pressure. They was putting that foot on everybody's neck. All right. It doesn't matter. Racing team or whatever. McDonald's was out here with that drip. This is the best one of the lineup. McDonald's fashion from the 80s. Happy hunting on uh, eBay if you can find it. But, of course, we got more long videos, guys. Of course, more long videos. Check out the top. 10 newest fast food items man out right now in these streets heating up these streets like this mcdonald gear and make sure you hit that subscribe button right now long videos are now